I'm Tom. It's, uh, this is my wife, Angie. Uh, we've been attending Atlee for about five years now. I think it's almost six. Almost yeah. probably working on six. Yeah. Working on six years. We have three kids. Yeah. Have <laughs> three three, three boys. little boys. <laughs> Pure chaos all the time. Crazy. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we, I mean, we, we manage in the complete chaos that, that it is. <laughs> Speaking of the children. What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh! What's guys. going on, guys? What if I let you play Fortnite? Daddy. <gasps> the one—it's—it's it's a microphone. Come on, watch the stuff, please. Be very careful. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I think prior to tithing, our relationship with our finances was not was not pleasant. It was stressful. It was it was almost like the thing we tried to avoid, like dusting dirt under the rug. We were paying our bills and everything, but it was, of course, we were always worried too on whether or not we were going to have enough paycheck uh, at the end of the week to cover everything. Of course, that made it extremely scary to say, okay, we're going to skim 10% off the top and give it to the church when we were just paying our bills as it was. But it's always weighed on us. It's, it's something that we thought we should be doing, but it was just, it was a hard pill to swallow. It was a hard leap to take. In 2017, we were like constantly borrowing money from family members and, uh, but, and it, I think we, I can't, yeah. We didn't have to do that in 2018. That just so happened to be the year we started tithing. Mm hmm Full tithing, not just giving. Yeah. When we first started even thinking about it, we tried it and we stopped and then we tried giving like we did. We did like a year's worth of actually giving $50 a paycheck. It didn't feel right. Like just the $50 mm. didn't feel OK. Like it didn't feel like I, I didn't feel like I was actually connecting with God. Like I felt like I was trying, but like half heartedly, because if it was I paid my bills first and I maybe had $10 to give, then I would try to give the $10 too at that point. We'd met several times with Jesse uh, before we actually made the decision to go ahead and start giving. Um, and the, one of the things I had told him was, you know, we didn't want to start giving and then all of a sudden have to turn to the church to get our bills paid. It, it, that didn't make sense to us. You know, I've, I've been a business owner and everything and can do a budget and I know what the numbers look like. And when we're paying out this much, we have this much coming in and we're paying out that much. And then all of a sudden you want to skim 10% off the top and, 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 and this, it's not there, but somehow it works. Uh, we started, uh, with our, my very first paycheck, uh, in the month of January. Uh, um, and almost immediately, uh, we felt, we felt God's presence. We, the little things would start happening. Um, we, we needed some money to cover s the kids' school lunches and Angie happened to be cleaning out the attic and found an envelope with $18 in it. I know it seems, uh, you know, it seems to some, it probably just seem a little coincidental, but um, beyond that, uh, other things started happening. Uh, out of the blue, I got a call from an old boss who offered me a new position making significantly more than I had been making. And then the pizza tonight. I mean, just on our way over here, we, um, we are sitting there and I, I'm literally like holding our last $7 for the week. Like that's it. Like we have $7 left in our purse. And on the way over here, I picked my kids up pizza because we knew we were going to be a late evening and it might be a while before, we, you know, they were able to eat until we could get home and get them dinner. And my pizza and crazy bread was given to me for free by the employee at Little Caesars, just out of the blue. So we still have that $7 left in case we needed it for something else, which I was a little surprised about. And, you know, it's just, it's little things like that. And most people will be like, oh, that's just a good gesture. And I'm like... I think it's a little bit more than that. Somebody who owed us money um, paid us early. Or like right uh, when we needed it. Or yeah, right right when we needed it so that we could go get 
groceries, uh, you know, because we we're, we we're trying to figure out, well, we've got all the other bills paid. We don't have any money for groceries. What are we going to do? And then somebody calls up and says, hey, I got that money you uh, you loaned me or th- that I owe you. You know, do you, you want to come pick it up now? It's like, um, yeah, sure. <laughs> I just, you know, I knew I knew it was because we'd started trusting God uh, with things that we had never trusted him before, uh, that he was making things happen for us. I will say we've had all these really good things happen and it's been fantastic, but I know in the middle of it, tithing was really hard for me and I wasn't tithing on all of my paychecks like we should have. And I promised myself I would start tithing on my paychecks as well because I was still, I myself was very worried about it and I tried hard. And then what, three weeks after I like started to constantly tithe on my paychecks, I got offered a job half the distance from home making the same amount that I was. And then within two months got a pretty big raise after being there. So I think the, the leap of actually trusting and giving all my worries had really like, you know, I think we just see more and more every day of his blessings and that he will take care of you if you make that leap of faith. While our finances aren't, you know, they're not picture perfect. uh, I think our trust, our trust in God with our finances is better. So there is less stress about our not so perfect finances and where things are going to come from. We feel actually like we're able to help other people more. Um, others who we don't necessarily know. We've been able to buy like the random person in Starbucks's coffee or um, the one that really, really stuck with me um, is there was a young mom, single mom, and she was counting out singles, um, like just counting out as many singles as she could. And she had her baby on her hip. She had diapers in the cart, food for the baby, and she's just counting out. It was probably, I don't know, getting up to like 50 or 60 singles. And I turned around to Tom and I was like, can we buy her stuff? And I paid and I said, I got this for you, hon. And so we bought her. It was ended up being almost... I think $90 and stuff for the baby, like just food and for her and the baby and diapers. And she started crying instantly. And apparently she's a waitress that we used to see a lot of Anna's. And um, she says, you have no idea how much you helped me. My my car battery actually died today. And I wasn't sure how I was going to get to work tomorrow. So then she was able to go buy her car battery after we just (laughs) randomly decided to buy her stuff. So, and I think that that happens a lot. Sometimes I feel like God is saying, hey, do this favor for me and buy this person's lunch because they need this tomorrow. And it's just little things like that that just I thoroughly enjoy doing. Um, Even with the ability to do that, we are still able to provide for ourselves and our kids and take care of ourselves as we need to. Yeah, and I definitely feel we've been able to do that a lot more since we started tithing. Um, Yeah. Just being able to give to somebody else just randomly. Um, I mean, Angie bought somebody's breakfast Sunday morning. Um, and we were a little <clears> tight <throat> on money. And I just, he was this old gentleman sitting alone. And I text Tom and I was like, it's going to be about $12. I know we don't have a lot of money, but I want to buy his breakfast. And then what was it? That night we ended up getting $50 <laughs> as my birthday present. And so that $12 I spent on this gentleman who was eating alone was handed four times over to me. Uh, and we were able to do what we needed to do to get groceries and stuff. But it's the little things like that of just being able to continuously help other people. Even if it's just a $4 coffee, it's still like a good pick-me-up for somebody who might need it. If someone's on the fence with tithing and I just would highly recommend talking to somebody about it. Express how you're feeling. Um, After I was able to sit down with Jesse and really talk through it with him and read some Bible verses and things like that on it, I really felt more encouraged to do it myself. And I think that helps. So just a good support system and 
find where you can praise him, to thank him first, to tell him this is, this I'm doing this for you, for myself, and just really lean on him too. Yeah. I'd like, I mean, I'd like to put myself out there to anybody who is on the fence, uh, you know, I'm more than happy to talk to them personally. Um, I, you know, I, just to add to that, of course, pray, pray on it, pray on it. I can't tell you how much I prayed, you know, saying, Lord, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this what you want me to do? Um, then of course, you know, reading the Bible and, 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 and getting his answer, uh, and, um, you know, it, it, obviously it is, it is a huge, it is a huge trust fall to say, okay, I'm handing us all over to you. Um, you know, let your will with my finances be done. <laughs> 